Thomas coming at you from Epic Fitness in Ottawa. Uh, we're in the gym setting here to show you a little bit about uh, what you can be doing if you've got arthritis. Um, a lot of people have a lot of joint pain with arthritis obviously and uh, it might feel like there's no hope, there's no way you can exercise, it hurts too much. I'm going to show you a couple of stuff that's, uh, that's generally pretty good for you. Um, and the first thing we're going to start with is just simple walking. It's one of the most underappreciated and undervalued form of exercise, especially for someone suffering from some joint pain. So I'm going to show you actually how to use a treadmill. It might seem easy for a lot of you out there, but when coming to a gym, it can be a little confusing. So this is a general treadmill we have in my gym. Uh, the keypad is pretty standard. It's what you're going to find at most facilities. We're going to look for four buttons. Incline, quick start, speed, and stop. So before we start anything, we want to make sure we have this little safety precaution on. So we're going to take this, it's on every treadmill, and just put it to our shirt, just make sure that we don't fly off the back, um, and uh, make sure that the treadmill stops if I go back too far by pulling out that knob. So once that's in, we're going to find our quick start button, and we're going to press that, the belt is going to stop, or sorry, it's going to start. So, we have incline and we have speed. So we want to make sure that we have an incline of at least 1.5. That mimics the outside. We want to be as functional as possible. So we want to mimic what it's like outside so when we start walking in the summertime, there won't be much of a difference. With our speed, we're going to go between 2.4 and 3.5 to start. That's our walking pace. So we're going to bring our speed up. So we can hold on here for the entire time if that's comfortable for us or if we feel pretty ambitious, we can take our hands off and just walk like this. If you feel like walking at this pace, at that incline, still gives you some aggravation in your hips and your knees, one thing you can do is up the incline, but decrease the speed. So with elevating the incline, we're taking a little bit of more pressure off the knee and the ankle, but we're still getting a great workout. So my recommendation for walking to start would be 20 minutes every second day. So that's pretty, that's a lot. You know, you're burning a lot of calories, you're getting some movement, some fluid movement through the body and reducing inflammation, which is awesome. Another thing to, uh, to note is the heart rate monitor. So whether it's been doctor recommended to be in a certain range or you're just curious, all you have to do is put your palms on the heart rate monitor like this and the machine will give you a value. hands up here and like I said you can keep them down here and that's it it's very simple when you want to stop you just press the stop button and then return to normal clean off the machine do some stretches and that's a great way to start an exercise program if you've got some uh, some joint pain thanks very much and have a great day